what new discoveries are waiting out there? What new adventures can we see? What are the answers to the never-ending questions in your brain that's in a race to find the reason or the place from deep on earth to outer space so that the truth of any case can be unfurled in the real world? Science in the real world. Hi, I'm Olivia. Welcome to Real World Science. Every day, you put food in your body, derive energy from it, and get rid of the leftover waste. How does it work? That's what this program is all about, the digestive and excretory system of the human body. Did you ever consider the purpose of eating a slice of pizza? Sure, it tastes good, but the reason you eat pizza and other foods is to provide your body with nutrients. A nutrient is any substance that your body needs in order to live and grow. Nutrients provide raw materials for cell growth and repair, and to help your body use other nutrients. There are six kinds of nutrients that everybody needs. They are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and water. Let's look at each one. Carbohydrates are your body's main source of energy. One type of carbohydrate is simple carbohydrates, also known as sugars. Fruits, such as apples and peaches, contain natural sugars. One type of sugar, called glucose, is the major source of energy for your body cells. There are also complex carbohydrates. Starch is a complex carbohydrate that is found in plant foods such as potatoes, rice, corn, and products made from grains such as pasta, cereals, and breads. Fiber is also a complex carbohydrate found in plant foods. However, fiber found in fruits and vegetables cannot be broken down and therefore is not a nutrient. Fiber, however, does help keep the digestive system functioning. Fats are nutrients that provide energy and building materials for your body. There are two types of fat. One is unsaturated fat that is usually a liquid at room temperature, such as olive oil and canola oil. There are also saturated fats they are usually solid at room temperature and include meats and cheeses. Proteins are nutrients that are needed for tissue growth and repair. Meat, poultry, fish, and beans are food that contain large amounts of protein. Vitamins are nutrients that help the body to function normally and to help use other nutrients. Vitamin A, found in dairy products, helps maintain healthy bones and teeth, while vitamin C, which can be obtained from oranges and lemons, is needed to fight infections. Minerals that your body needs are present in soil, and they're absorbed by plants through their roots. We obtain minerals by eating foods made from plants, or by eating the meat from animals that have eaten plants. Water is our most important nutrient. It is needed for most of the body's functions. To make sure you get the right amount of nutrients in your diet, nutritionists developed food plate. It shows what foods to eat and how much. In order to take advantage of the food's nutrients, your digestive system changes food into fuel your body can use. The major organs of your digestive system are the esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and the rectum. Other organs include the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas. The food processing begins in your mouth. Saliva, produced from glands in your tongue, cheek, and jaw, begins to break down the chemicals in food and help make the food mushy so it's easier to swallow. 
Saliva is part of chemical digestion. Chemical digestion is the breakdown of complex molecules into simpler ones. This is done by using water, acids, and enzymes. Another type of digestion is called mechanical digestion. This involves the physical breakdown of food. Your teeth perform the first stage of mechanical digestion. As the teeth do their job, the saliva is doing its job, turning the food into slippery mush called bolus. When you're ready to swallow, your tongue helps to push the bolus into the opening of your esophagus. The esophagus is a stretchy pipe a little over 25 centimeters long and 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters in diameter. The esophagus moves food from the back of your mouth to your stomach. When you swallow a bolus, a special flap called the epiglottis flaps down over our windpipe to make sure food enters the esophagus. Muscles in the walls of the esophagus squeeze the food through to the stomach. It works like this. This straw represents your esophagus, and this bean represents a bolus. The fingers act like the muscles of the esophagus to squeeze the food down in one direction. This process is called peristalsis. At the end of the esophagus is the stomach. The stomach is a stretchy sac or bag. While in the stomach, food undergoes continued physical digestion. Using muscular contractions, the stomach squeezes its contents. While it's squeezing, the stomach produces enzymes and acid that work together to further break down the food into nutrients. After about four hours of physical and chemical digestion, your slice of pizza has been reduced to a soupy mixture called chyme. Once the stomach is finished doing its job, the chyme is slowly released into the small intestine. Chemical digestion takes place in the small intestine, but the small intestine doesn't break down food for its nutrients all by itself. It gets help from the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder. The liver produces green liquid called bile. Bile helps to absorb fats in the bloodstream. The bile is stored in the gallbladder. The pancreas makes pancreatic juice that flows into the small intestine. The juice contains enzymes and bicarbonate, which helps to neutralize the acid in chyme. Without bicarbonate, acids would damage the small intestine's lining. The chemical digestive process of going through the small intestine can take up to four hours. When it's completed, the small nutrient molecules are ready to be absorbed by the body. The inner surface of the small intestine is filled with millions of tiny finger-shaped structures called villi. Nutrient molecules pass from the cells of the villi to the blood vessels. Now, the stuff that isn't absorbed into the blood is pushed into the large intestine. Undigested material enters the large intestine as a soupy mixture. The large intestine reabsorbs most of the water, changing the liquid into a solid mass called feces or stool. The last section of the large intestine is the rectum. The rectum stores feces until it is expelled. Waste is eliminated from the body through a muscular opening at the end of the rectum called the anus. Eliminating waste is a very important function of the human body. It is called excretion. The excretory system collects waste materials produced by cells and removes the waste materials from the body. If your body didn't remove waste, you would become sick. Your digestive system is not involved in excretion. The term excretion is used only when waste materials must pass through a membrane in order to leave the body. There are three body systems that are involved in excretion. The first is your skin. Your skin releases waste products in water when you sweat. It's also known as perspiration. Your lungs are involved in excretion as well. When you exhale, you are releasing carbon dioxide and water. The third system that excretes waste from your body is the urinary system. 
The urinary system is made up of two kidneys, ureters, the urinary bladder, and the urethra. The urinary system removes waste products from your blood. Your kidneys play a very important role in the system. They constantly clean and filter your blood up to 300 times a day. Here's how it works. First, a large artery brings blood into each kidney. Nephrons are microscopic filters that remove harmful substances from the body. Tiny blood vessels branch off and pass through part of each nephron. One of the most important of these substances is a poisonous chemical called urea. It comes from the breakdown of proteins. After the filtering and reabsorption process is completed, the urea and other waste remains. It is now called urine. Urine leaves each kidney through a slender tube called the ureter and flows into the urinary bladder. The urine leaves the body through another tube called the urethra. Urination is the process of expelling urine from the body. Your body truly is an incredible food processing machine. From the minute you take your first bite of food or drink a glass of water, your body gets busy changing the food you eat into nutrients and energy you need to live and grow in the real world.